Good morning from Allure at the Seas. We're doing a promenade walk again, but it is not 3.45 in the morning. It's 8.45, a little better. But uh, I am on my way to go try some of the breakfast items. With this being 88 three-day cruise, I don't really have time to sleep in. That'll be for when I get home. But I'm uh, gonna check out the donut spot since that is one of the limited things on Loyal, not all ships have. And then I'm gonna do the sit-down breakfast and kind of see how that goes. But uh, I haven't even looked outside. I can't tell you what the weather is, but I do know that I'm gonna continue to make those memories, not dreams, and live every day as a gift because that's what it is. Thanks for my donor. Let's enjoy Nassau. All right, so I made it up here to the boardwalk where the donut uh, stop is. And I can say at least it's not pouring down rain today. That's a plus. But here's the donut spot. They have certain times that it's available. It does stop at like 8.30 or 9.30, so be sure to get up here really quick. They have somebody going in and giving you one when you come up here. Just a quick little snack, quick breakfast with coffee. So let's try it on our way down to real breakfast. All right, so I got myself one of the, like, I call them the Homer donuts or like the Simpson donuts. I don't know what they call them here, but that's what I got super dyed I'm sure tons of preservatives I will note that it is super soft not at all stale and it smells really 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 good so let's take a bite very good definitely will be on a sugar rush for a while <laughs> but I would definitely stop here again Super quick and easy if you've got just a little hunger in the morning. They do have juice along with the coffee, so that helps too. But I'm gonna finish this and head to the real breakfast. All right, so this is my gripe with Royal in this anytime that they think is anytime. You have to stand in line to get your spot instead of just clicking on an app and then letting you know when your table's ready, you have to sit here and stand. I did hear yesterday morning there were some that were waiting here in line for like 45 minutes. It better not be that way today. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Alright, so I did get a table here. It did take about 20 minutes, but the whole line is just chaos. They have like the parties that have one to four in one line, and the party is over by like five and over in another line, and they just like try to remember how many are in each group, and it's just total chaos. Get an app that we can click on. It's so much easier. You won't have people sitting there waiting and griping. If you have a drink station at your waiting station, you're waiting too long. 100%. Alright, so here I am at breakfast in the main dining room. It is at 3 aft. Um, after I got seated, it was probably about 7 minutes before they came and took my order. And then now here it is eight minutes later and my breakfast is here. I think that's pretty good for being completely full. But um, I ordered the breakfast burrito. You can definitely see all the components. The chorizo, the egg, and the hush brown. I will say that the plate is burning hot. Like, don't touch it. Kind of Mexican restaurant hot. Um, and then this smells absolutely wonderful. Let's try the first bite. Mm. Definitely good for flavor. It's fresh. Um, not like it's been sitting under the heating lamps or anything like that. I will say for my taste, there's a lot of extra uh, tortilla at the bottom. So maybe a little smaller tortilla. That's totally being nitpicky and just being mean. Uh, but like all of the flavors of everything on the inside are fantastic and the eggs are way better than um, they were at Johnny Rockets. So I'm going to eat this before it gets cold because it's yummy. Alright, so I got off here in Nassau. It's going to be a quick one because it's Nassau. But look how many ships we have in today. Like uh, there is a whole bunch. Some of my favorites. 
And you know what I gotta do when I see one of those is I have to manifest it that someday I will be on that. Someday, someday. That one's the magic. But then we have like the Conquest, Sunshine, and a whole bunch of other ones. So let's go see how the port is with this many ships in. So I get to see the funnel minus the funnel whale tail times two. It's over there. It actually looks a lot better than when it first did um, from like the videos and stuff that I've seen. But poor Freedom. I love that ship, but it's doomed. It's doomed. All right, so here in the village, it is definitely packed with how many ships are in here today. Um, it is already pretty steamy and hot. Um, make sure you get out here early. Stop by the braids. The two French braids are 70. You know how that goes. Don't pay more than 20 here. Um, Mexico is a little bit cheaper, but here 20 is about for that kind of style. But yeah, definitely less crowded the more you go down. Just kind of take note on the way to get in and out because they do change the gates and like entrances and exits um, from time to time. So here it is. It's hot. <laughs> All right, so I just came outside the gates. You know how that can sometimes be. Um, I can say today it was not stressful. They're taking no thank you and they're running with it. They also are not barricading you in in a spot. So bonus points to that. Let's go see what else we can find. All right, so one of my stops that I always stop at here is the straw market. I will say along the main drag here, they were doing a whole bunch of construction, even like up to like two months ago. That is all fixed. It's really nice. Uh, a lot wider paths, which is really kind of nice. And it's all like solid cobblestone, kind of like this. But uh, not too pushy. I mean, you've got the few, um, especially the makeup people. But for the most part, they're pretty easy going today. I will say a lot of the stores along here are changing um, like their stock and like their layout and stuff like that. So that's a little different, but I'm gonna head in here to the straw market and see how that is today. All right, so here we are. I will tell you it's getting a little more tight in here, kind of like pre-COVID, uh, but they're still doing really good with like keeping the aisles ways clear and things like that. But um, tons of stalls. There are some that are kind of closed. Hello. No, thank you. Um, but it is Sunday, so a little bit slower, but here it still is pretty easy to navigate and it's not as bad as it used to be as you can see from the ones going out I am glad I got off when I did because uh, now everybody's up they're all coming off and it's starting to really get busy downtown and like crossing the street is not as well organized as it used to be like none of the crosswalks work anything like that but um, it was a good time same stuff is always didn't find the things I was looking for this time. Um, they just weren't available. So I will have to wait. But I'm going back to the ship. I got cool drinks. I got air conditioning. See you next time, NASA. So I made it back here on the ship. I'm gonna just kind of explore around here. I thought it was kind of funny that my phone like went off going through security. I was like, what? what? Um, it's 11 a.m. and I have doubled my target for like my fit stuff. Yeah, over 20,000 stats <laughs> and like activity levels. So this vacation is no joke. It's a workout. Right, I've been hanging out here on the pool deck for a little bit. Made sure to return my towels that I got um, on the first day because those suckers are $25 if you do not um, turn them in. And that's per one. So make sure to turn your towels in before the end. And uh, yeah, let's go see what else we can get into. Not many got off the ship. It is still pretty busy here on the ship. Um, lots in the pools, lots just sitting around. So uh, we'll see what I can get in. All right, so here I am at the spa. I have not done this for a very long time. I'm going to do a port day special today. I'm getting a facial and then also a 50 minute massage. And the price that I get it for is like $159. So I'm ready to go splurge and do a little pampering. Here is a quick little tour of the spa area. 
They do have this juice bar that's right here. Um, you don't have to participate in the spa to go there, um, but all of it is pay. All right, so I'm headed down to start. But, oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It's gorgeous. So this is the relaxation room. I'm only going to be shooting places that don't have anyone else in them. All right, here I am done with my treatment. All shiny, all oily, but oh my gosh, feels so much better. Um, the uh, procedure started with like the back and the back like with the feet and the legs. And then um, she had me roll over and then she did the facial, which then when the um, certain topicals were on is when she did the certain body parts on the front part. But so relaxing they smelled wonderful i will say when i walked in i got kind of choked up a little bit from the aromatherapies that were in the air but then once i was in the treatment room it settled but um just a little like tickle in your throat or whatever just because it was so strong but so relaxing i will say that they tried to do a hard sell on like the serums and um, like skincare lines and things like that but it's what what they made their money on so wonderful time definitely look into the port day deals because it was like over half off just with being in the port today versus being a sea day or whatever so wonderful two thumbs up so the loco fresh uh secret is out the line is huge and i've already been waiting like 10 minutes but yeah it's kind of crazy long and it just keeps building but i uh, wanted a little bit of a snack after the spa so we'll see how this goes all right so my snack may have turned into a full fledged on meal because i made myself some super nachos and they look delicious i'm kind of surprised this is only the second time i've had this this is literally one of my favorite places you can get protein that doesn't have a whole lot of extras added to it. And then they also have like the fresh guacamole and all that kind of stuff. So good, so good. I did try the chili this time and I found a salsa. They didn't have the salsa the other day um, that I like. They had it today. So, time to grab on us. <laughs> know what night it is it's the silent disco they've got it here in the club there's only two stations and so far they're just kind of flashback kind of songs but uh 
So far, so good. All right, so they are officially out of headphones, but they are letting people in that don't have headphones. And in order to get in, you just have to scan your card at the door, just like you do for any of the club events. But the headphones, they just hand out when you walk in. So you can trade them with people and it won't matter because you don't have to scan them in and out with your card like you do on Carnival. So. You can't get copyrighted when the music is on. Guess what songs are on. Again, no music, but you can tell what song's on. So, girl, we survived the club every night. Yeah. By ourselves. Indeed. We slaves! 